WebODF is the web technology used by KO GmbH and OFS in the proposal Open Collaboration Server and Web Office. WebODF is the starting point of a web-based office suite. It builds on improved standards compliance of browsers. Browsers are very capable and versatile programs these days. Products by large closed source vendors have shown that it is feasible to implement a browser-based office suite. Currently, the Dutch organization NLNet is sponsoring development of WebODF. At the end of this funding period, we expect WebODF to be a JavaScript library that can add basic ODF support to any web page or desktop application. This means that many features will be displayed properly and editing of paragraphs is possible. Web ODF will be able to highlight changes by different authors. Let's have a look at Web ODF. This demo is available online and works in recent WebKit based browsers such as Chrome and Safari. It also works in Firefox since version 3.5. The address is demo.webodf.org slash demo. Initially, the screen shows a list of folders. This is a simple demo user interface based on ext.js. The demo UI is not a core part of WebODF. Instead, WebODF provides a canvas that can be integrated into any web page or desktop application. This demo lets one read a large collection of documents on the server. The server here is a plain Apache server. Any HTTP server will do. Apart from the Web ODF JavaScript, no additional software is needed for reading documents. The browser does all the work, including unzipping of the ODF documents. First, we show a few text documents. Here is a text that shows different character styles. Page margins are displayed as they would on a printed document. The correct fonts, in as far as they are available in the browser, are used. Additional fonts might be provided by the server. Basic features such as bold, italic, underlining, text alignment, and section numbers are supported. The zoom factor of the document can be changed with a slider. If the document is editable, text in the document can be changed. Tables are supported. Most table styles are displayed properly already. Text in tables is also editable. Spreadsheet support is there, albeit rudimentary. Currently, all sheets are shown below each other. Styling of cell contents is looking good. Formulas are not supported yet, but there's a suitable JavaScript library that can be used for this. Editing also works. And zooming works. As the initial screen showed, presentations are supported. Bitmap images, 
can be shown slides have layouts this demo has a simple presentation mode Web ODF aims to have very strict ODF support. The ODF XML is loaded into the program and retained. Some foreign elements are introduced to help rendering. Saving a document is as simple as removing the foreign elements and serializing the XML. Debugging WebODF is easy with introspection tools in modern browsers. This concludes the screencast that shows what WebODF can do with text documents present uh, spreadsheets and presentations. I hope you enjoyed it.